We are here at uh, M&A Technology Headquarters and Manufacturing Facility in Dallas, Texas, and we are going to feature uh, some of our new products. Uh, today we're going to talk about the ePad. Uh, if you like your iPad, you're going to love the ePad. The M&A Companion uh, ePad integrates very well in a uh, Microsoft environment, in an enterprise or uh, education environment or higher ed. Uh, it is uh, based on uh, Microsoft OS uh, Windows 7 Professional uh, or Windows Home and Premium. Um, it has the Intel processor, so it is a uh, familiar architecture for most uh, enterprise and educational institutions. Uh, this, this specific keypad comes with an uh, Intel Atom processor, 2GB uh, of RAM, and 32GB uh, SSD drive. Let's uh, now take a closer look at the ePad, uh, the Mini Companion ePad. Uh, as you see, it does come with a webcam that's integrated here on the front. Uh, the power button is in the back, um, as well as some of the vents uh, for the heating. Now I want to show you some of the I.O. ports that come uh, with the Companion uh, ePad. Uh, for example, here we have uh, Mini DVI to connect to a projector. Uh, here you have uh, um, two USB ports, um, and an SD card reader, and, and a slot for a 3G uh, wireless card or a 4G wireless card. In addition, we have a port here for the docking station, which allows you to dock the machine uh, or the tablet while you're working on it. The m and Companion ePad comes equipped with a G-sensor or an accelerometer that allows you to rotate the screen uh, as you work in different orientations. So I went from portrait to landscape mode uh, just by turning the device and you can see that happens in every direction. The big difference between the m and Companion ePad and other slates out there in the marketplace is the unique interface uh, that m and and XUPC uh, uh, put uh, on top of Windows to make it uh, much easier to navigate. So for example, if I don't have the interface, uh, you can see that you have the Windows screen and it's uh, a little bit awkward to touch some of the icons and the buttons and you might uh, uh, touch the wrong line and you can see I can launch programs using my finger. However, it's not as touch friendly as if I go in the interface. So once you're uh, in the user interface, uh, the GUI user interface that we developed for the m and Companion ePad, you can see all the controls at your fingertip. You can increase the volume uh, and reduce the volume by touching the speaker. You can mute the, the volume by uh, clicking on the speaker. Um, you can also uh, close the XUPC interface by uh, pressing this button. You can uh, go back to Windows if you like and you can go back to the interface. Uh, this, uh, this button takes you home, so as you dive into the applications and different folders and subfolders, sub if you want to go back to the home screen, you simply click this and you're back in the home screen. So let's demonstrate some of the applications uh, that come part of the App Store with the XOPC interface. Uh, for example, you can read a book by simply going to that folder where the books are and you can launch a book. And you can actually flip, swipe through the pages as if you do with any uh, touch interface um, for ebook reading. Now let's uh, demonstrate the multi-touch capability for the M&A Companion ePad. I'm going to launch a demo here that most of you are familiar with, uh, the Pendulum. If I stretch that uh, and uh, let it go, you can see that I can stop it. You can move all of them. I can close the application with my finger. Now we're going to take a closer look at the M&A Companion ePad uh, multi-touch feature uh, to show you the capability of the touchscreen interface that we have. Uh, we're going to click on a demo that most of you are familiar with. If I go to the uh, My Photos folder in Microsoft Windows, launch it from my user interface, I can see the pictures arranged on my desktop, I can move them around with single touch, I can move two of them at the same time with multi-touch, I can grab a certain picture and stretch it and throw it to the side, 
uh, and that is a very cool feature uh, for the MA Companion ePad. The user interface on the MA Companion ePad is can be customized. Uh, as you can see, I can access the hard drive by clicking uh, this icon, and I can go to my C drive and I can add an application. Um, let's say I want to do uh, program files uh, and find a certain program. Um, I want to be able to launch it from the interface, so I simply click on that and I can add it to my uh, desktop very easily. As you can see now, I have uh, a shortcut on the user interface directly to my hard drive. Um, and that makes it very easy to customize the tablet uh, for your own uh, applications. Now we're going to demonstrate the ability for the companion ePad to run Flash. So I'm going to run a clip of a movie that most of you are familiar with. Uh, we'll, uh, give it a minute to load. You can see the screen brightness. You can also hear the volume. The volume can be adjusted on the screen here. Uh, can run a high definition movie on this screen and it works perfectly. For more information on the MA Companion ePad, uh, please visit our website at uh, www.macomp.com.